Welcome to Lockdown Lab. This is a channel where we try experimental cooking during the lockdown period. Today I'm going to take you to the region of Umbria in Italy, about 100 kilometers north of Rome. And we're going to cook for you a white fish with a tomato sauce using some Italian peeled tomatoes as well as some fresh tomatoes on a bed of basil, spring onion, sitting on some very fresh and lovely texturous tagliatelle. So I've started with finely slicing about four or five cloves of garlic, stalks of the spring onion, slicing these into little circles and in goes the garlic. So this is a dish that I discovered on many trips to Rome and some friends used to take me up to their olive farm in uh, near a town called Orvieto. There's nothing like bliss when it comes to climbing up a stepladder, leaning it against a tree, an olive tree, putting on some padded gloves and just pulling the olives off the branches and watching them drop. Do that for two days and you get a couple of tons of olives and then you take them down in the tractor to the little town of Orvieto and you get this amazing emulsion-like thick green olive oil. Six or seven strands of basil and just uh, flick the leaves off the stalks. Oh, lovely fresh basil there from the market this morning. Salt to taste. Uh, here we are, it's a lovely fresh flounder from the fish market. And uh, you can use any white fish for this dish, it really doesn't matter. I'm just sprinkling it with a bit of lemon juice. I'm going to drop the flounder right in. You take a bit of a sizzle as the lemon juice and the, the water on the fish just start mixing with the oil. Well, these are the freshly sliced tomatoes. Then we're going to let the fish fry gently for four or five minutes, and then we're going to slowly start peeling the meat away from the fish. And I'm also going to take a couple of peeled tomatoes that I got from the tin. These are Italian peeled tomatoes. I'm just gently breaking them up as I put them in. And this will just give it a little bit of extra, sort of slight stronger flavour. So have a bit of confidence to give it your own twist. So I've just flipped the fish over. And as you can see, that's really... Um, started cooking, so I'm just got a flat spoon just to be able to flake the fish away. And if you thread the fish flakes over to the edge of the dish with a large bottomed pan, you will not burn the fish. There's much less heat at this edge of the pan than there is in the middle. Just keep moving your sauce around a little bit as you do this. I think I'm going to flip that back and give it another, just let that cook for another two or three minutes. It's been cooking for a few minutes, hopefully, yes, I think we have enough cooking there. And I'll just start the same process on the other side. Looks like we've discovered some fish eggs here. It's a nice bonus for the dinner. Now I'm going to take this out and put it on a plate. There's still a little bit of fish there. Once that's cooled down, I'll use my fingers just to take that fish out. The fish that's been sitting at the side can now be repatriated with the main sauce. So I'm now just going to kill the heat on this. This is fresh pasta straight from the market. Break it up a little bit. I'm just going to sprinkle it in, no more than a couple of minutes. A little bit of black pepper to taste, and I'm just going to Pour some cold water over it to stop it from cooking. A little some olive oil. That pasta looks lovely and al dente today. Look at that, just mixing its way in. Be very gentle with it. Drizzle it across the top. A touch of the starchy water that came from the pasta. A few tears of basil. Just takes me back to the, the flavors and the atmosphere of Rome is like home. I feel as though if I ever get reincarnated, I want to come back as a Roman. Touch more olive oil. Never really have too much of this. Wow. So time to plate up. 
reminds me of the first time I went to Milan and I walked into a coffee shop at lunchtime and fluently asked for una latte prego. The lady gave me a glass of milk, which I realized is what latte means. Drank it quickly, paid for it and walked out. Of course, everybody was laughing at me. But just take Italian food in the way that you like to. And here we are, plated up, straight to you from Lockdown Lab, white fish on Italian tomatoes, basil and fresh tagliatelle. Thanks for coming to Lockdown Lab.